What's up, Jabroni Steven here? Welcome back to another reaction. Today, we're hopping into Doctor Who episode number four of season number six called The Doctor's Wife. Hopefully, it's a great episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. Um, last episode, I thought was just very, very, very okay. I thought it had some interesting ideas. I didn't really love the episode. Um, I loved the first two episodes of the season. Not so much that one. Hopefully, this one is cool and interesting. About the Doctor's Wife, so it makes me wonder if it's going to be about River. That'd be kind of cool. I like River a lot. Uh, as always, you can head over to Patreon and watch the full reactions over there if you want them. If you don't, that's totally cool. Episodes here. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Well, hopefully this season for me uh, kind of, I don't know, makes me like the pawns more. I'm very curious about that situation too with um, the daughter or what I believe is a daughter. I could be way off. Um, I know that a lot of you guys say that the pawns are some of your favorite companions. For me, they're very much not. <laughs> they are tied with martha and martha might be ahead so i said that before though uh but yeah we're gonna hop in here have a good time have some fun like comment subscribe patreon for the full reaction pretty much like comment subscribe here we go what happened oh <clears throat> um uh, nephew will drain your mind and your soul from your body and leave your body empty yes but it's still gonna happen what was that the door how somebody knocking on the door it knocked right we are in deep space. Very, very deep. Come here, you scrumptious little beauty. Doctor, what is it? I've got mail. <laughs> Time Lord emergency messaging system. That's in an funny. emergency, we wrap up our thoughts in this. Oh, I'm trying to see. You guys said that there's an, one of the holiday specials is also supposed to be. In between the season? Matrix, the soul of the TARDIS has just vanished. What does that mean? Where would it go? Oh, wait, what? The TARDIS is inside of this woman? Imagine a great big soap bubble with one of those tiny little bubbles on the outside. Okay. But it's nothing like that. The Neil Gaiman. Holy Look shit. Wait, so the person that wrote Sandman. Bubble universe stick into the side of the bigger bubble universe. Just, uncle, just keep that clumsy around. She what are you? Excellent. Oh, no. oh, no. Ow! Ow! Biden's <laughs> It's like kissing, only there's a winner. Oh, sorry, she's too lally. Yes, 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 good idea. I'll just see if there's an off switch. Whoa! Oh. Is that it? She dead now. So sad. She's still breathing. <laughs> she dead now. So sad. Uh, nephew, take it to this somewhere she yeah. cannot buy. Oh, the come, TARDIS. Come, come. The TARDIS is so went into that woman. Now that woman. You. I should do in my week. What was that? Do fish have fingers? Like a nine year old trying to rebuild a motorbike. What am I saying? Why am I, I saying that? I'm so fascinated by her. See? Uh, my screwdriver, I left it in the TARDIS. It's in my jacket. You're wearing your jacket. My other jacket. You have two of those. Okay, I'll get it. <laughs> two Doctor, listen, two of the same jacket. Get emotional because that's when you make mistakes. Yes, boss. Call you from the TARDIS. This. Hey, uh, right here, screwdriver's in your jacket, yeah? Yeah, it's around somewhere. Have a good look. Well, it can't all be in here. <laughs> what is that? Oh, oh, man. Stress signal collection. Nice job, brilliant job. Really thought I had some. Lied to us. Time Lord stuff needed you out of the way. What we're not good enough for your smart new friends. Boxes will make you angry. How could she know? Doctor, what are you talking about? Stay put. Stay exactly where. Oh, that's what she one. was saying. Tardis. Joyce. Who are you? Hmm. It's about time. He's not trusting us and he's being emotional. This is bad. This is very. They put me in here. I'm the. Oh, what do you call me? Uh, we travel. I go. <laughs> Todd. Time and relative dimension in space. And the first time you touch my console, you I said... I said you were the most beautiful thing I'd ever known. Then you stole me. And it was taken. What makes you think I would ever give you back? My TARDIS. My doctor. <laughs> oh, 
We have now reached the point in the conversation where you open the lock. Let up each and Amy! Amy! Rory, get the hell out of there! Holy oh, crap. Yeah, it's how she's after the TARDIS. Just get out, both of you. You locked the door. Oh, shit, it's disappearing. Say what? It didn't, eat, it didn't eat it. Where'd it go? I really don't know what to do. That's a new feeling. He's a, he's a, that's a new feeling. Finally, he asks. So what I call you? I think you call me sexy. What? <laughs> when we're alone. What do you alone? Huh. Uh, Come on, you sexy. <laughs> he calls the TARDIS Come sexy. On where you're, you're, you're the whole TARDIS. I like the guy's voice though. Are you gonna build another one and put her? Valley of half feet and TARDISes. You thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking. Bomb the tube directly into the tank yes. inverter. Yes, I have actually rebuilt the TARDIS before, you know. I know what I'm doing. You're like a nine year old trying to rebuild a motorbike in his bedroom. And you never <laughs> read the instructions. I always read the instructions. There's a sign on my front door. You have been walking past it for 700 years. What does it say? That! Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> And you don't run so far ahead, you know? Let's hold hands. Where have you been? I stepped through that door and it came back here. You've been hours. No, I haven't. What? So, so, this way. That was cool. Amy, again, with the being really far. Why do you keep doing that? I wanted to see the universe, so I stole a Time Lord and I ran away. And you were the only one mad enough. Right, perfect. Look at that. What could possibly go wrong? That's fine. That always happens. No, hang on, wait. <laughs> Amy? What? Oh God. You're an old Roy, man. You left me. How could you do that? How could you leave me? Go. Go, Amy. Okay. <gasps> Oh my god, what? No! No! Dude, that's fucking dark, bro. Amy? Oh my god, this is insane, bro. <laughs> you have about 12 seconds before the room goes into phase with the invading matrix. What was that? It was that woman. That mad woman and the doctor. The doctor? We have to keep going. Also, I'm the pretty one, apparently. How's he going to be able to take down the shields anyway? The house is in the control room. I directed him to one of the old <laughs> We keep running ahead of what each other. The lights? the lights are fine. Messing with our heads. Grab again. her hand. Grab her hand. You guys need to hold each other's hands, man. You're doing it, you sexy thing. Please <laughs> don't call me that. Is it my name? You bet it's your name. <laughs> now, Rory, I can see. No, we should hold no. each other's hands. Doctor, where is this place? This is where she told me to go. Doctor. Well, we're not quite there yet. Just except she's a woman, but she's a woman, mm -hmm. and she's my TARDIS. She's the TARDIS. And she's a woman. Mm -hmm. She's a woman, and she's the TARDIS. Did you wish really hard? <laughs> Shut up! Not like that. Hello. <laughs> Realized. Ah, well, he must have been redistributed. Meaning what? You're breathing in. Oh. Uh. And what you choke. Jesus. Hang in there, Oka. I think you should be very, very careful about what you let back into this control room. Oh, she shit. took her from her home. Oh, she's mad and now. She's back in the box again. And she's free. Doctor. Hey, she can talk. Are you oh. there? It's so very dark in here. Oh man. I thought you were going to be talking to the machine. 
I'm here. Goodbye. No. I just wanted to say. Hello. Hello, Doctor. Doctor, this time could we lose the bunk beds? No, bunk beds are cool. <laughs> a bed with a ladder. You can't beat that. <laughs> a bed with a ladder. Sure in. <laughs> Out those stairs, keep walking till you find it off your pop. Top notch, man. That was awesome. I loved her, her character. I loved her demeanor, her tone, everything about the way she carried herself as the TARDIS was awesome to me. Um, let's see, we also had the stuff that was happening with Rory and Amy, which I thought was awesome as well. The jumping, the way that the, the way that the house. Oh, they called my house. The way the house played with their minds. That was fascinating. Like seeing Rory slowly deteriorate and then die. And, you know, although we did do dumb, some dumb stuff in there where we kept running and <laughs> leaving each other behind enough to get us to be separated. I love the way that the house was killed and was kind of um, defeated by the TARDIS. The stuff with the weird ass people that were being kind of um Frankenstein monstered was weird. I get it. House needed entertainment because it didn't want to be bored, so it created those like those creatures to do what it did. I guess the one thing I didn't figure out is where she came from. Like where did she come from? So she came from somewhere and then Was here they took out her soul, their new soul in. It was the Time Lord soul, or the Tardis soul. I didn't fully understand how this worked. Like we had a body, a person, took their soul out, pulled the Tardis soul here so that we can kill the Tardis and eat it. But I don't exactly understand how that worked. It was cool nonetheless, the visuals and the ideas of it all. Um, I love that Amy is kind of like fighting with telling the doctor that in 200 years he's going to die. Then we got the weird thing that the box came to talking, came and uh, came a calling, and he's like, I got, he's like, I got mail. And he was super excited about it. And then it was the time lawyer that was calling him. When I was. Power leaves and here. I don't know where we're at, but there's a junkyard, something set to spin. We meet some people. I love the I love the way she oh my heart, just the acting by her, the way she presented herself, the way she just was all over the place and was fascinated by everything. It's very similar like when when the doctor becomes a new body. How he is fascinated by everything. Like how he was fascinated by food in the beginning. Oh hello. We got the oud here. Um oh, I thought it was all interesting. Then the doctor's looking for the, um, he fixed the thing and then he heard, here's the voices of the Time Lords. He put her in the jail cell. We're asking all these weird things, questions, and the doctor's slowly seeing that they're not human. At least not fully human or something else. Uh, I love like, See? like, where she's like calling to the doctor. He sends, he sends Rory and Amy to go look for the, Go look for his screwdriver, Doc deploy so that he can actually find the time lords that are here. Then he finds them, he figures out, oh shit, it's a trap. You guys lured us here. Then the whole thing earlier in the episode where the one um she was like, The boxes will make you angry. He sees the future, which is cool. Then we find out, oh, it's the TARDIS. It's going to eat the TARDIS. Oh funny. And I can't really like everything about her. And the doctor's conversation was awesome. His realization of who she was is like denial of no. And everything about like their relationship about, oh, you stole me. I stole you. I thought it was all fascinating, right? Can't really show those scenes unless I just re-show the scenes. It, it was, I loved it. I thought it was great. I loved all the conversations they were having. That's why I kind of want to give it a nine. 
is because I think that her and the doctor, it fleshed out their relationship more. The doctor's relationship with the TARDIS, which up to this point, the TARDIS has just been a machine that, you know, occasionally, you know, it's had moments that we knew it had a soul, but like here, you got to see it and have a conversation with it. The doctor, so, so loved being able to talk to the TARDIS. But that was cool. That was really cool. Get a new TARDIS because House takes over this TARDIS and Rory's able to buy us some time by saying, want to play a game with us or whatever. Kill us. And then this whole scenario about running through these things and then how Rory or Amy comes, they get separated. And then when Amy finds him, he's like, you've been gone for hours. And then it happens again. You've been, and it's years and decades and, and he dies and then you see that he's writing kill Amy kill me he's so upset with Amy which is kind of like this crazy thing I love this whole scenario this whole shit right there was and then her with the like you've got me the, like, I don't know it's just it's a lot of really good stuff and I'm surprised that it's Neo game like gaming right crazy that he would write a Doctor Who episode he's like a comic book writer um, I love Amy's acting here, um, but then again, Amy's still, my problem with Amy as a character, and most of you guys won't care about this, is that she goes through a lot of shit, but none of it affects her. And the thing about Donna, for me, is that everything that was, everything with Donna, it seemed to affect Donna. You know what I mean? Everything affected Donna for the most part, and it changed her. But for me, for Amy, for me, Amy never gets changed by the thing. It's like, uh, she always just comes back to the same thing. I love the whole thing about the pretty one. It was funny. Uh, we figure out how to let them in. We let them in. Then it's a whole bunch of conversations with uh, the house machine thing. Uh, uh, the, the thing's going to delete us. But when it deletes us, he's like, he said, anything that's deleted in a separate room always gets sent back to the main room. We're in the main room. And I love when the doctor buying some time enough. and then no, it's never enough you fall you should be very very careful about what you let back into this control room you talk i don't know about you guys but that music when it's like from her home it's like a it's like a build up box again. build up it's awesome and she's free every time it does it i'm always hyped it's like a hype a hype anthem for me i thought this was awesome when he i just wanted to say hello alive i thought this whole conversation was great Doctor crying because he's speaking to the TARDIS. The TARDIS is his partner. And that's why it's called the Doctor's Wife. The TARDIS is ultimately the Doctor's partner for life. We'll see what happens with a river, but I don't know. I'm fascinated by it. Um, and we just kind of end with what appears to be the, the TARDIS speaking with the Doctor in a different way. That's awesome. So that's my reaction. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon for the full reaction. Uh, like head over to Patreon, and if not, that's totally cool, you can get up to see when I show up, but yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll talk to you guys later.